One of Lithuania's main advantages is its strategic geographic location. In order to exploit this advantage, Lithuania needs a modern and well-developed transport infrastructure. Railway transport plays a significant role in the country. It accounts for the largest share of Lithuania's total cargo turnover. There are two trans-European railway corridors crossing Lithuania. Of particular importance is the Corridor 9 that connects the Baltic Sea with the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. The railway line that crosses Lithuania and is designed for cargo transit is called Corridor 9D. It connects the main part of the Russian Federation with the region of Kaliningrad. Together with its partner, a Czech company Ajade Praha, FIMA is undertaking the modernization of this section. The companies are reconstructing traffic control, power supply and telecommunication systems, as well as implementing other systems and performing general construction work. Nine D corridor connects several projects. We are implementing Rail Baltica, which will also involve the section from the Polish border. Therefore, it is highly important to make necessary preparations so that the section is suitable for the Rail Baltica project. Installation of the European gauge at the new route next to the current railway. Our current systems are very old. They've been used for 30 or 40 years, and they are based on out-of-date relay technologies and are extremely difficult to fix. Another reason why these systems are no longer suitable is that they do not provide for the centralization of railway management or electrification of the said section or a possibility to develop the European rail traffic management system that would be interacting with all other systems operating in the European Union. This is why we needed to implement this project. The implementation of this project and the modernization of railway systems will ensure a high safety level as well as increased train capacity. The section will be ready for electrification and implementation of the European train control system. The railway section under reconstruction extends from Kaunas to Kibarte at the Lithuanian-Russian border, the region of Kaliningrad. This section is more than 100 kilometers long. Our company has been operating for almost two decades, and we've been working with the railways for over 15 years. We've started our work from simple systems, and now we are implementing large and complex projects involving electricity, traffic regulation, safety systems, and other solutions. It is indeed the largest and the most complex project in our company history. It comprises a number of systems that need to be designed and installed. The complexity of this project lies in the fact that processes of integration of all the technologies and complicated performance of related works have to comply with Lithuanian, Russian Federation and Belarusian Railway Authority's requirements regarding traffic regulation and customs procedures, as the project involves an area connecting three countries. From a technological point of view, the trickiest part is the railway authority's requirement that during the implementation of this project and installation of all the programs, the railway traffic must remain undisturbed, that is, trains shall operate despite the new developments. The consistency between the old and the new systems is crucial. Maintaining this consistency is a great art, and this is what we are trying to achieve together with our partners. In 2001-2004, together with our other partners, the Swedish company Bombardier Transportation, we have implemented the first microprocessor-based management system for the section from Keishadoris to Radvilishkis. It was the first system in the Baltic region that comprised not only stations, but the entire section. FIMA has a vast experience in the implementation of railway systems and the integration of modern microprocessor-based systems. The company takes part in key traffic control modernization projects in Lithuania and Latvia. Modernization of the Corridor 9D involves a number of specific tasks. In this section, a modern microprocessor-based railway traffic control system is deployed. It will enable the control of signaling equipment for eight railway stations and intermediate stations and 33 level crossings from the traffic control center in Vilnius. According to the Senelec standards, this traffic control system conforms to the Safety Integrity Level 4 security level. New outer signaling equipment and related cables, train positioning equipment and personnel warning and security systems are installed as well.
Also, full reconstruction of the power supply and control system has been undertaken. New 10 kV and 0.4 kV overhead and cable power lines are constructed, new modular transformer substations installed and existing ones reconstructed. Old diesel generators in railway stations are replaced with new automated diesel power stations. An automatic switch heating system is installed for more than 200 railway switches. For the management and control of all power supply equipment, SCADA relay protection and control system is installed. Railway communications and data transmission equipment is substantially reconstructed. This is just a part of projects that are carried out by FEMA and its partner AJT Praha. Компания FEMA для нас в принципе новый партнер. Новый в том смысле, что мы вместе реализуем. The company FEMA is our new business partner. We are currently implementing our first mutual project, and we are already sure that it is trustworthy and talented partner. Their support is always available whenever we need it, which means that if we were to establish a consortium FEMA Aja de Praha, the process would be running smoothly and the equipment would be delivered in a timely manner as the client requested. The current project with FEMA involves the supply of automation equipment, that is the equipment regulating train passage across and between train stations, such as traffic regulation direction change indicators, traffic lights which can be seen by a passenger, as well as other technology that is invisible to a passenger, such as computers and electronic devices regulating the entire process. The supply of advanced technologies is our ultimate goal. In this project, FEMA plans to perform reconstruction jobs that are valued more than 48 million euros. The project is supported by the European Union structural funds. No Lithuanian engineering company has ever won a modernization contract on such scale. The company expects to complete the project in autumn of 2012.